So I create a video on how to do Google Groups, but let's talk a little bit about using Google Contacts and creating a type of groups called labels in Google Contacts and how you can use those. So you can see here's my Google Contacts in this uh, in uh, under Burris Consulting at gmail.com. Now I'm going to select a bunch of them. Let me select a few. Let's get this and this. Let me just select. And I'm going to put these all in a label in my Google Contacts. So I'm going to select all those and up here you can see the little icons. I can merge them or I can manage labels. And let's see what's under the three dots here. Hide or delete. I'm going to hit manage labels and I'm going to create a new label and I'm going to call this my test um, group. Now remember it's not the not the group for uh, used in the context of Google Groups. It's basically just a label and if I click on that label you'll be able to see these are all the these are the five people I selected who are in this test group or this label called test group. If I go back to contacts, you'll also see over here on the right, one, two, three, four, five that are labeled test group. Now, why is that useful? Well, first of all, if you have a large number of contacts and you want to find just a group of those contacts, I do, um, in my personal one, I have one called family. So all of my family members are labeled as family. So I can boom, click on that and go straight to the family if that was it. I also have one for a business partners. So all of my affiliate partners, they're in a group called affiliate partners. Again, a label affiliate partners and I can see those pretty quickly. So when I'm looking at the group right here and if I want to remove somebody from this group, I can either go back to the contact, remove it, or just go right over here and I go to the three dots and I can say remove from label. And that just boom, takes them out and now we have four. So what's the other advantage of putting uh, email addresses from your Google contacts into specific labels or groups? Let me show you from sending an email. I can go send an email, I'll hit compose. And when I go to send an email, if I click on the two, then I can go right here and I can select people from this list or I go here where it says my contacts, hit that and hit the group test group. And then I can select all and I can insert and boom, it puts all of their email addresses into the email message. Let me show it to you one more time because it's pretty, I did it pretty quickly. I'm going to do compose. I'm going to click on two. I'm going to click on the down arrow here and hit uh, t go to that label called test group. And then I can either select one at a time or select all. And I can say down here, insert, and it puts them all into the, in this case, the two, uh, two line. I could have done that into the CC or BCC it just as easily. Then I can compose an email message, sort of like sending a group message, but it's going to send them um, uh, to individually, and the individuals can reply, reply all, or whatever they want to do from that message. Labels in Google Contacts is a really good way of labeling your Google Contacts. Organize them in small groups so that you can easily see them and you can easily message them of all from Google Contacts or Google or from Gmail. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy. I hope this is helpful for you.